I'm Joe from East Point Sports. Today I'm going to show you how to assemble your volleyball net. Alright, so our first step is we're going to attach our score rings to our scoring poles. So you're going to take your scoring pole, you're going to take your score ring, and you're going to slide it on the top of the pole and just roll it down. Once you've done that, you can now attach a top pole to the scoring pole. No, the top pole has one side with two keyholes and one side with one keyhole. Make sure the side with the two holes lines up with the number side of the scoring pole. Repeat for the other pole. Now we are ready to attach the bottom pole. The ends of the poles that attach together are color coded for your convenience. And there you have your two poles. Now we're going to attach our bottom key locks. Just go ahead and put it into the hole, twist it until it locks. Note, the key lock for the scoring pole must face up. Alright, we're going to put it in the next key lock, twist it, make sure it locks. And for this one, you need to have it facing down. Okay, now we're going to do the same for the next pole. Now we're going to attach the tension gestures. When doing so, we want to make sure that the hook of the tension gesture is on the opposite side as the top key lock. We will slide two on each pole. Our next step is to attach the top key locks to each pole. So when doing so, you want to make sure that you push it in and twist to lock. Note that each key lock on each pole should be facing up. So now that our poles are done, we're ready to set up the net. Okay, so now we're going to attach a pole to either end one at a time. First thing you want to do is grab the black loop on top, hook it over the top key lock, and repeat for the bottom. Okay, now that our two loops are attached to the pole, you can go ahead and take the top cap of your volleyball net, attach it to the top of the pole, and you can take your tension ball, attach it to the tension ring, like so. Now, we'll take the bottom string of the volleyball net, thread it through the hole on your pole. So now that you have this threaded through, you can go ahead and take the last tension ball you get in your hardware pack, thread the string through that, Go ahead and make a knot in about the middle of the string. Once that is done, go ahead and attach it to the bottom tension lock, like so. Okay, now that our net is attached to the pole, go ahead and attach our pole stabilizer to the bottom of the pole. Now we're going to repeat this process for the pole on the other side. Okay, now we're ready to stand the pole up in the ground. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the other pole in the ground. It's best if you do this with two people. Once the poles are in, you're ready to install your guide ropes. We're going to start with the center guide rope. That's the guide rope with one stake. So that goes right to the middle on the, the, the lowest key lock. You want to bring this one straight out from the pole and insert the stake at a 45 degree angle away from the net. Once it's in, you can go ahead and tighten your attention adjusters. Now we're going to take our tripod guide rope and attach it to the top key lock on the pole. Separate your two stakes. Go ahead and insert your stake to the left of the center stake. Once that's in, you can go ahead and tighten the tension. Now we'll go ahead and do the right one. Once that's in, you can tighten it. If you need to readjust your central guide rope again, just go ahead and retighten it. Okay, we're going to repeat this whole process for the other pole. So now that we've got our volleyball net set up, if you have any issues with the net or the tension's not right, you can go ahead and just adjust your, your two tension rings 
This one goes down, this one goes up. Let's go ahead and pull it until you see the neck get nice and taut. Okay, you ready to play?